We'll show how to prepare and use the manual field tapering tool for both red and green thread for the 1 inch through 6 inch pipe. We'll demonstrate the proper setup for a 2 inch pipe. First, select the proper size mandrel. First, install the bearing washer on the mandrel shaft on the back of the mandrel to protect the mandrel body by preventing wear to the tool body. Attach the mandrel bolt. Tighten the bolt tightly into the tool bottom. You'll notice the blade has a wide side and a narrow side. Place the blade in the tool blade holder with the wide side facing the blade holder. Push the blade in as far as possible without the blade contacting the mandrel itself. Tighten the blade holder by hand, then tighten with the tool. Now we'll set up the mandrel for an inch to an inch and a half green thread pipe. Place the alignment bushing in the block. Then place it into the top two slots in the tool head. Take the bolt and washer from the two inch mandrel and place it in the tool and tighten with a wrench. Insert the green thread mandrel and tighten the bolt. To prepare the tool for manual operation, place the short handle on the top by screwing it in tight. Then place the long handle in the bottom and screw it in tight. Set the tool up on a factory taper and mark both the mandrel and the cutting head. Place the pipe in a chain vise. Use cut sections of fiberglass to protect the pipe from chain damage. Then taper the pipe. Now we'll show how to set up the tool for the power adapter to allow the tool to be power driven with a rigid 700 power drive and a rigid 774 adapter. First install the power adapter block available from fiberglass systems. When the cutting tool has been inserted into the pipe, attach the power drive to the tool and cut the taper. Check the insertion by comparing the insertion made in the field with a factory insertion. 